Alright, boys. Jotaro. Yes, sir. Welcome back to another video here today. You've seen the title. We have so much to talk about given yesterday's literally mysterious entire, uh, what is it, announcement. That thing made no freaking sense for anybody. But I went and tried breaking it down as much as I could. I talked to a lot of people uh, and then we think or we at least, you know, speculate that we got it correctly. I'm going to show you what I uh, what I found and what I think it will be. Give me my 10 cents on the entire topic. And uh, Jazzy literally helped me with half of this. So, uh, yeah, thanks to him. <laughs> If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. It means a lot to me. Thank you again, guys, for all the support. You guys really have been killing it. Thank you for leaving a like. Thank you for commenting down below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. Again, what do you want this entire thing to be? Do you want it to be a regular entire update? Do you want it just to be something hyped, a collab rerun, maybe an event that we don't even know before? Like, it's just a new thing to Grand Cross. It is, in fact, a thing. It's, it's, it's very massive. You're going to see what I'm going to talk about, and you're going to be really hyped about it. On this video, leave a like. Let's go for a solid 300 likes. Let's see if we can crack it. We know for the delay. Let's jump straight into the video. So... All of the theories that have been laid out on the table, right? There are so many theories that people are giving to me, and I, they, most of them don't even make sense. I'm going to be honest with you. Most of them don't even make sense, correct? Here's the first theory. Remember this beautiful, beautiful Prisoners of the Sky update? Dude, I never actually completed this, which is pretty depressing. I will take care of it, okay? Everyone comments down below, like, every single day. I get at least one comment a day, right? At least one of uh, people asking me why I don't beat it. Why haven't I beaten it yet? I just, for memes. Honestly... It is for memes. I'm leaving that 30 gems there for a rainy day, right? One day it's going to roll around that I need those 30, and it's going to be like my backup, dude. It's going to be like my uh, piggy bank. That's exactly what this is. That's why I left it here. Overall, I will beat it. Don't worry. I'll take care of it, okay? If it's in my inventory, I'll feel more likely to spend it. I'll be like, dude, I have some good amount of gems. I can waste on a costume here and there. Overall, that's just my theory on it, but it's fine. With this, right? This update, this guy, this is what everybody thinks it's going to be. They think that this voice actor, right, for Bellion, is in fact the one that was talking in the trailer. Here's the trailer. Take a look at it with sound on. Here. So that voice actor is what everyone thinks he is. When I went to watch it, he does sound very, very similar, but I don't know why they're going to do Bellion. None of it makes sense. His sword doesn't even make sense. Let me go to Bellion real quick in game. Damn, I hate Bellion so much. I didn't even UR him, dude. I think I have like three copies. I have two copies of Bellion. That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay. But 3-6, I meant to say. Yeah. So with Bellion, that's his sword. Okay. For everyone saying that this is Bellion, it is not Bellion at all. There doesn't, you know, there isn't a reason for them, for them to even drop Bellion. Maybe they drop Solod, but why would be, why would Bellion be talking if it's Solod going to be happening? Plus, why is it that big of an update if they're trying to hype up Bellion or something like that? Overall, doesn't make sense to be Bellion. Doesn't make sense to anything to do with the first movie. Then it kind of segues perfectly into my next topic. Everyone thinks that it's going to be the new movie. Here is the banner image for the entire movie. It's a very cool banner image overall. The trailer was amazing. Go check it out if you guys haven't already. I would play it here today, but again, it's copyrighted. I can't really do much with that. So I'm sorry that I can't play it. Overall, though, really good trailer, really good thing. It looks really cool. Animation is pretty much uh, stepped up. It's a movie. They can't go and mess around with the entire you know animation budget on that one. So overall, very, very nice trailer. With that being said, okay? With that being said... People are thinking that it's going to be the guy in the top left, right? It's going to be the person that looks like Eskinor. First of all, he's not Eskinor. Everyone was telling me it's going to be the guy Eskinor in the top left. That's not Eskinor. But uh, that is Dahlia. I think that's how you say it properly. I don't know if that is correct. If I did pronounce it, give me 100% in the comments. I need that. Overall, people are thinking that it's going to be him. It's going to be him in the update. That is, that is who is talking because the voice actor sounds very similar. But I'm going to squash that entire theory right now. There is no way that is that, right? There is no freaking way they are dropping a character like that or a banner or a update or anything regarding the movie because they'll spoil the movie for you, right? Knowing what his uh, entire, uh, what is it, kit is in the game, it'll ruin the, it'll ruin the movie. It'll spoil everything. You won't understand what's happening. Uh, Grand Cross wouldn't go and, you know, toilet out the movie uh, by putting the game, like putting the entire thing in the game, right? Let's say you played through it now. Why you got to watch the movie? It's overall a bad concept. So they won't do it that way. For everyone saying it's going to be the movie thing, hell no. The, the movie launches in a month, okay? I literally thought it was launching today. Someone's like, dude, it, it launches June 2nd. No, it launches July 2nd or July 3rd or something like that, right? So with that being said, it is not the movie. Yeah, no. Next, that leaves us with two options, right? The two options are, in fact, Slime, you know, part two, which I really want to see it again. Not at this time period, though. Right now, Slime is, there is no way, there is no freaking way anybody is saving enough gems for Slime. How the hell do I get to my food area? Overall, though, Slime Part 2 would be so, so cool. There is, apparently, this is information that I have not yet confirmed. So for everyone that sent me this, again, I don't know if this is confirmed. Take this all with a grain of salt. It is, in fact, that something in the newest season has something to do with Ragnarok and the Ragnarok teaser. This is the teaser on screen, right? This is Ragnarok. So, this is what they showed. With that being said, someone told me that, yes, 
something to do with uh, Ragnarok in the second season. It's apparently named that. I don't know if that's true. I, again, take it with a grain of salt. This is what this was what Discord has been telling me, right? I am not listening because some of them said some dumb things. They said like, "Bro, it is going to be fate because that's Gilgamesh's uh, weapon." And I checked it. It's not fate. There's no way that's fate. Okay, Gilgamesh's weapon looks way different, and overall, that's not fate. But People are also saying it might be slime. Given we still have the slime food over here, they never chose to remove it. Again, it could be that it's event food. They just kept it in. They also never chose to remove the festival queen ones or the festival square ones or the 7DS homecoming special dish because somebody might have them. Overall, if you remove the UI for us, it wouldn't look good again overall. That is why they kept it, probably, the event ones. Yes, it could be the fact that they're going to rerun the Festival Coin at one point, which they probably will. Festival Score probably will. 70S Homecoming Special Dish. At some point, they're going to do a Homecoming event again to bring back more and more players when that does come around to the time that's required. So yes, most of these three seem like they're going to come back. Will this come back? We will find out soon. Overall, though, will they run a collaboration right after a festival that was right after a collaboration that was also right after a collaboration that was right after a festival? You see what I mean here? There's a festival, then a collaboration, a collaboration, a festival, a collaboration. So that's how Global got it, right? For JP, it was different, but it's still overall the same principle. Too many things back to back. I don't think it's going to be a collab. That leads us with the last option of this entire video, which again, it could be a collab. I'm not going to throw that idea down. I'm saying 50 50 in the collab, okay? Why do we think this you might be asking? Take a look at this. If we go over to my boy Counter Melio, right? You can go check this in game too if you don't believe me. Captain Meliodas is this full Counter Meliodas. If you click over here, if you look at that right there, it has a very, very similar, you know, style to how the blade in the image looks. Here is the image of the blade. Here is the image of this. See the, see the, you know, the similarities with it? Yes, the only difference is, the, in fact, like the hilt of the sword and then a little bit like of the eye right here is where the eye is and the teaser image is a little bit more down and then with like the bat wings i guess you can say over here they're a little bit more spread apart again overall with the design here too it's not like the crackly effect and yes i will say right now the most power probable thing will be that they go and drop the vampire thing it was in the files given regions did go and confirm that a while ago that yes gelda would be a character and one more of them would be a summonable character but that also you know brings up the question are they going to go and push back purgatory bond for this and they're going to go and push back, uh, what is it, Festival Arthur? Or is it just going to be content, right? They're just going to give us a massive, massive side arc that is involving the manga, which, again, is pretty massive for Netmarble, given this is the first time they've ever done something like this. We've never, ever seen them go and adapt something that was not in the anime and adapt it and put it into the game. So it is the first time for them, which, again, could lead into the fact that that's why they're announcing it like that. Overall, the entire mystery of this of this entire announcement is beautiful, right? It makes people want to speculate. It makes people want to think. It makes people want to, like, you know, wonder. And it gives you that entire feeling of, damn it, I want to know. I'm going to have to wait three days. You're going to continue to check Twitter. You're going to continue to check the game, see what's happening. You're going to continue to see, yo, what is this entire announcement? What could it mean? What could it be? Is it a collab? Is it a movie thing? Is it something else? Overall, it's a pretty cool way. Again, they follow, or I guess Netmarble followed other games that do this. I think everyone knows how many games do this entire theory of, you know, they drop a announcement or they drop a teaser that you can't tell anything from it, right? You cannot uh, determine what that is from the image. It's, it leads you to just to speculate, right? It leads you to think, yo, it's this, it's this, it's that. Overall, good way of marketing, and they did pretty well with that. I'll say that now. But there you go. What do you guys think? Is it going to be a slime collab that is currently where my bets are lying? Slime, or it's going to be the vampire thing? It can't be anything else, I don't think. The movies don't make any sense. They're not going to go and drop a movie that is literally about to come out, and you go and spoil the entire movie for yourself. That is just horrible, right? Then it comes to the thing of the Prisoners of the Sky. No one gives a crap about Bellion. If they're hyping it up and it's Bellion or something like that, I don't care. I am not even like, dude, this entire update is trash, right? It's pure garbage then okay overall though yes i feel like it's going to be the vampire arc uh, we're going to get an entire manga thing i don't know why it's a global announcement as well with that being said it might push back the other things that you guys have been waiting for which is in fact purgatory bond and all of that with that being said let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments make sure you leave a like subscribe notifications on we should get another announcement tonight and i will keep you guys up to date with what happens with that peace out enjoy the rest of your day and i am out ladies